Welcome back, Motorheads. This is What the F Car Finds on Facebook Marketplace. Uh, first got 1978 Cadillac for $3,500. Oh, God. <laughs> really? <laughs> well, now we all know what happened to Short Bus Willie. He started building cars in his adulthood. He missed riding a short bus so much, he decided to build his own rendition, but with a little style, so he made it a Cadillac. Uh, next got a 1940 Chevrolet Rat Rod for $5,000. $5,000 for what? $5,000? You better not get $5,000 out of this. You're not, no. Absolutely not. If you get $5,000 out of this, I'm going to lose my faith in humanity altogether. Uh, next guy, 1983 Oldsmobile for $5,900. I, is this becoming a thing to take a station wagon and try to make a ute out of it? Seriously, I mean, is this... Like, pop it up everywhere. I mean, seeing this, I don't know, it's just because I've seen a couple that now that every one of them just wants to keep coming up here and showing themselves to me or what. You know, this one here, it doesn't look to be horribly done, but it just looks a little funny, in my opinion. Now, you guys might like it, but if you want to pay $5,900 for that, that's totally up to you. Me, personally, I don't see $5,900 whatsoever. Maybe $900, possibly. But, I just don't get it. Why is everybody just butchering a wagon to make... A ute. I just don't get it. I mean, granted, wagons ain't always cool. Some of them are, some of them ain't. And this is definitely one of the ones that wasn't. Uh, next guy, 2006 Dodge Magnum, $4,500. You know, I've heard Michigan had problems with their drinking water up there. And you know, after seeing this here, I'm starting to understand, yes, you definitely have something in the drinking water up there causing you to do stupid shit like this. This thing here is just absolutely ridiculous from the paint job to the price that you are asking. Please, everybody, quit drinking the water in Michigan because you're going to do stupid things like this. Uh, next guy, 1930 Chevrolet for $11,750. What are the moldy cheese parts that we got going on with this POS? This thing is just absolutely ridiculous. $11,000? No, 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 no. You're not getting $11,000. Look, dude, you're in Wisconsin. Your cheese is lit off your cracker. There's plenty of cheese up there to put another piece of cheese on your cracker. This time, try to find a piece that's not fermenting bad ideas like this. Uh, next, we got what they call their unique custom truck for $7,800. Okay, well, this is definitely a what the F, but I don't know whether or not it's a what the F in a bad way or a what the F in a good way. It's kind of interesting, mildly, but the other, on the other hand, it's kind of, what in the hell is this stupidity? <laughs> uh, wait a minute. Do I see leopard print carpet? Oh, no. No, this is definitely a window liquor creation. Uh, next, got a 1961 Volkswagen Beetle for $4,900. What the soul's all shit happened to this poor Volkswagen? <laughs> oh my god. I said it once, I'll say it again. Not everybody should be allowed to go buy Sawzall Blaze or even own a Sawzall or anything sharp or anything to cut anything apart. Oh my god. I mean, at this point, wouldn't it have been just easier to bought a golf cart? Because essentially, that's what you tried to build here out of this poor Volkswagen. It's not like I'm the biggest VW guy on the planet, but damn, man, this abuse has got to stop on the poor Volkswagen as well. Um, that's got a 1970 Oldsmobile for $32,750. You have absolutely fell and bumped your damn head and got up and fell and bumped it again because you are not getting that kind of money out of this poor wagon. You know, I'm not saying what you got here is not kind of cool because it's not a butcher job. It actually looks to be done fairly well and it's kind of interesting, but not at that kind of price. Just because you cut something up and you call it custom does not mean it's worth a whole astronomical amount of money. I'm sorry. Uh, next, we got what's left of a 2014 F-350 for $35,000. What in the Jeepers Creepers Psycho Billy machine is this? Wow. What in the absolute F? I, uh, I, I don't, yeah, I don't necessarily hate everything you've done. It's definitely interesting, but that wing has got to go immediately. 
Up next, got a 1904 Stagecoach for $23,000. Holy Methodic Cowboy shit, what is this? This is absolutely horrendous. <laughs> this is just fucking wow, dude. Really? <laughs> I thought that other stagecoach car a few videos back was something. This damn thing here. Oh, shit. The other one ain't got nothing on you, man. What in the absolute F, dude? Uh, next guy, 1941 Dodge for 29.5. Alright, somebody call ahead and get my padded room ready, because this damn thing is definitely a what the app, and it is out there, but I absolutely dig the hell out of this thing. This thing is scary as hell, and I can imagine having this thing, and loving every minute of it going down the road, terrifying everybody on the interstate, any public roadway, absolutely annoying the hell out of the neighborhood. This thing is cool, I definitely had to go find my best cheaper creeper mask, just to terrify the hell out of people even more, but at that price, no way in hell I would buy it, but... This thing is actually pretty damn cool. What do you guys think of this one here? I think it's absolutely awesome, personally. Alright, this damn thing has inspired me. Somebody go get me a damn sawzall and get the wagon in here. Well, everybody, that's all I got for you today. If you liked today's video, smash that like button, consider subscribing, and I'll see you in the next one.